Hey y'all, this is Jen Carter with Team Carter Homeschool. I'm here to tell my experience with life coaching. And so tonight we have a special guest with us. Her name is Tammy Thorson and she is a certified life coach and she lives in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And so we, in a little bit, she's gonna get on a Zoom call with me and we're gonna talk a little bit about my experience, a little bit about life, what life coaching is, what she does and how she can help you. And so this will be fun. Hello, hello. There we go. Hey, how are you, Tim? All right. Woo, we did it. We are here. Yay. Yay. My husband's the one that manages Zoom calls, so this is a whole new ball game for me, but I did it. Yay. I'm so proud of you. This is cool. Oh. Yeah. So if people are joining us, um, could you tell us who you are? <laughs> and what you do. What is it that you do, Tammy? Yes, well, I'm Tammy Thorson, and actually I am from Iowa, can you believe it or not? And uh, lived there all my life until I hit college, and then went to college in Ohio, and met my husband there who was from New York, and we spent four years at the university there at Cedarville, a Christian college there. And after we graduated, actually right just before we graduated, we got married. And then we actually spent our first year of marriage in Bolivia, South America. And from there, that is when we became full-time missionaries. We came back and served in student ministry for a little bit, then continued working with missions. And then for the past, oh, from 2004 to 2012, we were in Bolivia again with our two children. And now we are back here in the United States and serving still with SIM USA in the headquarters in Charlotte. So through that, I am a coach and have been certified and serve and serve others in a, a coaching business ministry. And how I met Tammy, how this story comes around is I just found myself like stuck in this place of not really sure like what I wanted. I feel like as a, as a mom, I have three kids under six. Well, they're almost six, four, and two. But anyway, so when I came to you, they were, you know, five, three, and one. And I just felt like I was in this place of motherhood. Maybe all moms go through this. I have no idea. But I was in this place of like, I, I'm pouring out so much to my family. Like I'm pouring out so much in my marriage, which is great. But I feel like in the process, I kind of lost what I wanted and lost like who I was and what I what I wanted because I feel like that question of like oh what do you want I, I, I couldn't answer <laughs> and um yeah and maybe I just felt like that was a selfish thing to even want but clearly that was not selfish because um I realized that I needed help just because I was feeling so like inundated with being overwhelmed and then I was starting to get anxious um, so much to the point of where my husband was like, hey, you might need to reach out for help and talk to somebody like I'm, I'm in support of you doing that. Um, and so I, I think when I called you that first time, oh, so how I got reconnected with Tammy is um, that same family member that suggested you the first time. She actually came back to me and was like, oh, Tammy Thorson, who you talked to like five years ago. She is, she's now a life coach. And I was like, really? I don't even know what life coaching is. And so um, I got reconnected with, with you. So sorry that that was a rabbit hole of a tangent. But yeah, that's how we, we got back together. So yeah, and it's very interesting, though, Jen, that when you said, oh, I have all these, the, the children at five, three, and one, or whatever you said, that that's where I specialize in is women in transition. And so you are spot on sharing about uh, women that are just starting with babies or have uh, new ones coming into toddlership, you know, and how it's changed. And then also, I mean, just this morning, just talking with someone who is now in transition because they're going into retirement and just needing some extra support and encouragement. And so, like your husband said, Jen, 
um, I really encourage you to talk to someone and coaching is more than just a friendship chit chat. It's a little bit, even a little bit deeper and more intentional than even a very, very good friend asking very, very good questions. Mm -hmm. It takes it, it, a life coach actually goes even deeper there by using specific techniques that are ready to help listen and draw out of you what, what's going on and to help you and come alongside you to get and, you know, a lot of people do come to me and they're like, oh, I, at first I thought you were going to be coaching, meaning you're going to tell me what to do. Um, and some of them want me to tell them what to do. And that's not life coaching. We sit down and we get to actually the whole desire um, for me being your coach is to help you align to your God-given design so that you can make the greatest impact in your own personal life and to those in your sphere of influence. And so what is really the main thing is a Christian life coach like myself, who's been certified and gone through a lot of the training and, and live up to a, a standard that I have to stay with is that you come to me, you're the one that sets the agenda. We talk about exactly where you are, where you would like to be, what that would mean for you. And then we would start peeling apart. And a lot of times, the women that come to me, we find that there are some um, unrealistic expectations, limiting beliefs that, that they didn't know were even there. But as they began to process what's going on and where they would like to be, those things are coming up. And so they get to know themselves better. They get to know God better. Um, they get to know um, even the people around them a little bit better because I will ask questions that help them discover and draw out some more insight that they never never considered before. And so I have intentional uh, questions that I will use as I listen to you. So I don't have a book of questions that are uh, number one, number two. No, it goes along with how you're sharing. And so then I am listening to the Holy Spirit as you're sharing. And then your what I'm helping you do is to recognize the Spirit's voice because I know I am a woman of transition. I could tell you tons of things that has happened in my life that has thrown me into transition when I didn't want it, when I was hoping for it, and all of those really are life changers. And it is so good to have someone intentionally supporting you and that you're the one setting the agenda, but someone that's gonna encourage you, challenge when it needs to be, but you get to be the one in the driver's seat. But all the while, letting the Holy Spirit be the one that's speaking into the insights and discoveries that you're making. Mm -hmm. And I, just to speak from a little bit of like my experience with you, um, and that's just so good. Um, I was with Tammy for five months, and I met her biweekly at best, at least once a month, if not biweekly. Um, and so that was just something that was just so helpful and encouraging to me that I was able to verbally process with you. Um, and I feel like we just went all over <laughs> the place. Like from our first meeting, I feel like that was more of like addressing symptoms. And then I guess over the next, you know, couple months, I feel like the Lord was really hitting on like root, um, I don't want to say issues, but like digging up all the stuff that was the root of whatever symptoms that I that I thought we were going to talk about and address. Um, and yeah, the Lord just just wrecked me in the best way possible. Um, <laughs> um, and so I'm just so grateful that Tammy was a part of that. And um, yeah, like the Holy Spirit does lead our meetings for sure. Because um, I, I, oh my gosh, I can't tell you like, probably a couple of times I'd be like, well, I don't know what we're going to talk about today. Cause I feel like I got nothing. And then <laughs> for our time together, um, yeah, he just drew out so much. So, um, it was really great, but I feel like the goals that I was able to set in life coaching, even if they changed from like our, our first meeting until four or five months later, um, I feel like I was able to actually see like progress being made. Um, the goals that I set for myself, um, I feel like, I guess one of the big takeaways for me is that as a mom who felt coming into this like overwhelmed and anxious and feeling stuck and not knowing like how in the world am I going to 
feel better and get out of this. Um, I feel like the Lord really just rearranged my priorities and to where in the beginning, maybe I felt before I came to you, I think I was trying to fill that void with all these different things. Like, oh, if I just be more like Pinteresty and do all the things. And like, if I pick up a new hobby and like start learning a language, maybe that'll make me feel better. Or like, I mean, it sounds really, I don't want to say silly, but all those things were not filling this void. You know, if I just work harder, if I just do more things, then it'll make me feel better. But um, truthfully, that's not what happened because <laughs> I got to that place of um, just feeling really overwhelmed and anxious. And then what came out of life coaching was just being able to remember like who I was in the Lord because I forgot and you're like how do you forget <laughs> and um I think I just was putting other things other priorities in place of spending time with the Lord so thank you for um that that's just something that came out of our our meetings together and then through like processing all that with Tammy, I was able to set concrete goals for myself of like, okay, you say you want to spend more time with the Lord, how are you going to do that? And then I would list out like how I'm going to do that. And so it's just really, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. It's like resetting my habits and, um, yeah, it's just, yeah. So. Cause every, every session you will come away with at least two or three action steps that are to be done before our next coaching session. And they're tailor-made for you. So it's not me giving you an assignment. We talk it out. We see where you're wanting to go and how best are you a learner? How, how best do you, um, uh, are you motivated? And then you would make up some of your own steps. Then we would look at those again and say, um, how motivated are you to take this? And what, what would be, um, a deficit if you didn't take this step. And so on a scale one to 10, how confident are you that you could actually and do this and you want to do this? And we, we peel all that back. And so by the time you leave that session, you are 100% sure this is, these are the steps I want to take. And so when we come back, we review that, we learn from what you did, what didn't happen, what went well, what didn't go so well, and it's all moving forward. And it's very different than a counseling session because counseling looks back and deals with things that are obstacles back here. But with coaching, it's all forward movement. Where do you want to go and where, where, what's going to be needed to get you there? And a lot of it is in here. A lot of it is mind and thought transformation old habits, patterns that I am, um, well, as I listen to you, I can recognize and I challenge and we work through those and see you progress to new healthy habits that are aligned to God's design. So Tammy, if people were thinking about doing this, like now that we piqued their interest and now they're curious about life coaching, what's the first step and how can they get in contact with you? Yes. Well, the, the easiest way is just to go to my website and it's head two with the number two heart onward dot com. And you'll go up to my homepage and the free consult call button is right there. And you can go ahead and schedule a time where we can just talk. There's no, no pressures at all. You can ask all the questions that you want and we can just go from there to see if, if, coaching really is a fit for you and maybe you're not ready for coaching and we can just peel that back and see what would it be and then how would you what investment would that take for you and time and budget you know and so we really make it tailor-made for you that's your really first step is just to peruse that website and see if that's something that there's even a quiz there you can take to see uh, am i ready for a coach um is coaching for me and uh, just see what you can find out when you even take that what well, the no pressure left yeah. come out of this session with when you walk out that door what is the result that you would like to have and then when you share that then we start peeling back and saying okay let's look at it from this angle and how would this and oh it's so it's like actually it's a journey it's it's, a i was about journey. to say that i was yes. really about to say that <laughs> We go arm in arm, we go into the science lab of life and we just say, hey, what if this angle was looked at? What if we did a little bit? What if we took away this part? What would that look like for you? How would you feel? What, what, what dreams, what could you possibly think of in that? And oh, the things that we discover and then, okay, so what is God saying? And what, what scriptures come to mind? 
and maybe there's none. That's okay, but we just move ahead. I, I my niche, my I narrow it down. I do uh-huh. have women that are in um, transition, but uh-huh. I've also I am not exclusive. And my husband um, by FaceTime or like we're doing on Zoom, um, I can coach. I've coached husbands. I've coached um, teenage boys, um, teenage girls, and even married partners. So I'd have um, a married couple come in, and we would coach through. Uh, one had just had a liver transplant been going through some trauma and wanted really God to be glorified in how they're recovering and moving forward as a family. And so that was a great six, you know, weeks of, of coaching. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really up to you and how, what stage of life you're at. And again, you don't have to be a mom like me, but, um, I am, (laughs) but, um, it can be any stage of life. Um, if you just feel like you need someone to come alongside you, like that's what, Tammy does and that's what she's here for and it's, she's really called to it guys she's really called to it so um yeah thank you Tammy for everything you've done for me and um yeah I just know that like a lot of people out there need this and so that's why I wanted to talk to you about this tonight and and put you on my channel because I feel like people need this so yeah. it's just and I even it's have one <laughs> So that Jen, I have my own coach, and so um, we all do need coaches. Some somebody to come alongside that is going to be intentional, but encouraging, supportive, mm-hmm. and also focused on having the the Holy Spirit speak into what you discover. Because um, to align with what God's design is, that's where mm-hmm. true fulfillment, satisfaction, joy, peace come from. Mm-hmm. So, and if you're out there and you're wondering, is this worth it for me? Absolutely, because you're worth it. Because <laughs> you matter. So, thank you so much, Tammy, for your time. Um, I will drop Tammy's uh, website and all her contact info if you would like to get in touch with her. And um, thank you guys for joining us. Yes. This, this is such a blessing. Thanks, Tammy. Yes, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye-bye.